Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Kadeepa. You know, this is a story for all my uh, Christian friends or those of us who have grown up in super, super religious environments. And um, as we got older, we saw the devastation that it did to our lives. And a lot of us are willing to share uh, so nobody else won't feel like we felt growing up in these uh, super, super restricted environments. Okay? So, I'm y'all already know how I got away. I moved. Listen, when they kept putting me on silence, wouldn't let me sing. At first, I opened up the radio broadcast. I do all that. All that. And because I challenged, oh, and I didn't really consider myself challenging anybody, I asked a question. I made a statement. And I was put on silence, and it just kept going on. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I want to go sing. Okay, y'all already telling me I'm, you know, just being an aberration, who wants to hear that from people that you love and rever and, um, you know, just really look up to? So I know this story on so many levels is going to resonate with a lot of people that have been involved in religious backgrounds and not have to live these really, really suppressed lives. And a lot of us do our kids the same way. And until our kids say something to us like, get off me. Um, or let us know. It depends on what kind of relationship y'all have. How much freedom that you allow. And how much uh, your child trusts you. To be like, look, I'm sick of, of you and what goes on with you. And I'm sick of this, all this religion dogma. Just like you were. And it's sometimes it's not until then um, that we really realize the error of our ways. This story brings that home for me. Because I know love conquers all. It really does. I'm not talking about sex or lust. I said love. Anyways, this woman reveals that she felt dirty and gross um, after being diagnosed with herpes at 19. I don't know if I should have said that in the opening line, but well, I, I think I'll make it pass. But, it is, but she is now speaking out to break the stigma after being raised by conservative Christian parents who didn't want her to even know about sex. Ring a bell on some of y'all out there? Why they, why they having sex out of both draw legs <laughs> is they, they want to micromanage your genitalia. These bona fide damn hypocrites. A woman has revealed how she felt dirty and gross when she was diagnosed with herpes at just age 19, but is now speaking out to break the sex stigma. Lana Lynch from Vancouver, Washington, was raised by conservative Christian parents who did not want her to learn about sex. She conceded, she concealed her STI diagnosis for nearly a decade fearing the stigma might come from her family and her friends. But the 28-year-old recently decided to break free from secrecy by openly discussing her herpes diagnosis and subsequently health journey on social media. And I'm sure that was very difficult, so I applaud your courage. 
talking about my diagnosis, Atlanta shared, I woke up one morning to an outbreak on my geni- genitals. My first outbreak, it was pretty bad. I had a multiple sores, as I had multiple sores. Lana admitted that she knew deep down what the sores were, but scheduled a doctor's appointment hoping she was wrong. But it was confirmed that she had herpes that same day. I contracted herpes from a man that I trusted. I had asked him if he had been tested for STIs, and he said he had. But I never, ever verified his test results. The moment I received my herpes diagnosis, um, nothing short, it was nothing short of devastating. There was Lana before a contracted herpes and a Lana after she contracted it. I felt like my entire world stopped. I knew things would never be the same Ever, ever again. Growing up in a conservative Christian household with minimum sex education, Lana's understanding of sexual safety was severely limited. I was pulled from sex ed in school because my parents didn't want me to learn about sex. I want all y'all super, super conservative parents to listen to this. In my late teens... I didn't think of using contraceptives. I didn't even think about it. For eight long years, Lana kept her diagnosis hidden from everyone, sharing this burden with only her sister and intimate partners. I carried immense shame. It made me feel dirty, gross, and undesirable. You just name it. That's how I felt. Disclosure conversations where the most terrifying thing in the world will come to me. My self-esteem suffered, caused me to date low-caliber men I believe would accept me rather than pursuing relationships that truly align me with my values. Navigating relationships with herpes added another layer to the complexity of Lana's life. Disclosure conversations were fraught with anxiety at times, and she ended relationships before they could even progress um, to any kind of sexual stage, and that's because they was out of fear. Sometimes it would prevent me from even pursuing a relationship with someone because I was just too scared. But over time, I found that building confidence in myself allowed me to approach these conversations differently. I had gotten to a point where I no longer hoped a new love interest would accept me. I openly tell them that I have herpes before the relationship progresses and whether they choose to leave or stay is up to them. Fortunately, Lana's outbreaks have become less frequent over the years. That's because you've reduced your level of stress. (laughs) Fortunately, with some, you know, she, uh, Let me say this. Um, Fortunately, again, her outbreaks have been less frequent over the years, with some even stopping altogether. But she still takes medication when seeing a new partner as an extra precaution. More than eight years into her diagnosis, Lana is not only in a place of having herpes doesn't affect the way she feels about herself, but it also dedicated to helping others that are battling STIs and she wants them to know that they're not alone. I have been on an intensive healing journey where I am examining all of the things in my life that bring me shame. I started my podcast, Your Inner Spark, earlier this year and speak about the things I've experienced, such as sexual assault and my past with an eating disorder. I found that when I use my voice and speak publicly about these things, the less shame I feel. Herpes, however, was something that felt like a whole different level of shame. And I thought there there was no way I would speak openly about that topic. 
Then she continued, my decision has changed when I found that two of my girlfriends in my close circle were also HSV positive. And it broke my heart that we didn't feel safe enough to tell each other before. If there were two people in my close circle also struggling, how many others were there out there? So at the end of October, I released a podcast episode basically telling the entire world that I have herpes. And I was done, just done, being ashamed of it. I wanted to start um, a conversation around it. I wanted others to know that it doesn't make them less worthy. I wanted others to know that they didn't need to be ashamed. Doing this also helped me reclaim my power surrounding this virus. Lana's journey also led her to TikTok, where she openly discusses herpes, which resulted in a flood of messages from others with the same diagnosis. Many admitted that they were also too scared and too ashamed to speak openly about their experiences. It really showcased to me how much more education and support we need out there because it is truly impacting so many of us. So my goal is to continue these conversations and create a supportive community where individuals living with herpes can find an understanding, an acceptance, and a sense of belonging, which I think is very powerful and I think is very positive. Very positive. So I want to commend her and good luck on her journey and anybody else that is dealing with this STI and have been ashamed and have a stigma about around about it. Listen, it is what it is. It is what it is. So with, if you agree with me or whether you not, whether you don't, I mean, let me hear your comment below. Let me hear it. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share to my channel. And I will definitely see you in the next video.